Today on How to Mendix, we are going to work with calling a REST API. In this case, it's going to be the Open Movie Database. The Open Movie Database is an open API for getting movie data. And it has a number of different parameters that you can choose from, as well as some example calls you can use right in the page. You do need an API key and you just have to send an email or add your email and they will go ahead and give you one. Let's make some calls to it with Mendix. Here in Studio Pro, the first thing I'm going to do is create a constant and that constant's going to store my API key. So we'll input that information right here. And this is going to be something that we'll be able to use in substitution later on when we make the rest call. Next, we're going to add some mappings, uh, but we first we've got to bring in some JSON. So I'm going to create a JSON structure and JSON structures are really nice because they give you the ability to take a JSON sample from another website and just stick it into Mendix. And then it's going to go ahead and format it for you. So check this out. You're going to copy this result from a search I did earlier on the OMDB. And now I can format that. It makes it look nice and pretty. And then if I refresh down at the bottom, it'll go ahead and it'll go ahead and give me the entire tree structure, object structure of the JSON. And I can go ahead and change some names of things. And this helps because when I go ahead and import, these will be the field names that get created. So once I have my JSON, and that JSON's just for searching uh, for a list of movies, I'll go ahead and create the microflow I'm going to use to call out to the API. Now, a microflow you might be familiar with is a function. And in that function, we have different actions that we can uh, add to this line. So the first one I'm going to add, and actually the only one I'll add, is this REST API call. And if I open up the properties for that, Inside of the properties, the first thing that shows up is the location. And I'm just gonna put into this location the URL I have for the OMDB. And then I'm going to add the API key as a parameter. You can see I do that at symbol, gives me access to the API key. And then I can add the parameters, just a curly braces with a one in between. Now, I don't have any HTTP headers for this call to OMB, but for different REST APIs, you may have headers that you need to provide, authentication information, and some other things. But right now, we can just go right to the response, and inside the response, we're going to create or apply an import mapping, right? An import mapping is what takes that, what's going to take that JSON structure and format it in such a way so that it can process the data and bring it into Mendix for us. So let's take a look at that. So inside this import mapping, we're going to start off by clicking the select elements up in the left-hand corner of the uh, box, and that's going to give us a, a number of different options of different things, uh, different types of data we want to import. We're going to choose JSON, and then we're going to map to our JSON structure. So we'll pick that. And you can see the tree view uh, recreates itself, but this time we get to check things. So I'm going to uncheck that top level object, and then I'm going to check in uh, all of the items that I want to import. And it's going to create this uh, box on the right hand side. And now what I need to do is I need to uh, map it to an entity. Now I don't have an entity, so I can map it automatically. When I map it automatically, what's cool uh, is uh, Mendix goes ahead and creates the entity for me. Now what it does is it creates what's called a non-persistent entity. And we know it's non-persistent because it's shaded in yellow. If it was a persistent entity, something that would be stored in the database, it would be blue. Anyway, if we look at our mapping, uh, you can see we're through and we can go back to our microflow. And inside of our microflow, we open this up and it says to us, we, we're now mapping to JSON file. I'll give it a new return name. And then I can right click and just go ahead and make sure that this microflow returns the appropriate list of movies, which is cool. Now what I'll do is I'll update this page so that I can show you this data. So I'm just going to make a quick change to the format of this layout grid, and then I'm going to add a, 
uh, list view. And this list view is going to use that microflow that we created to call the REST API on OMDB and get the data. So we'll just find that, click OK. And it'll prompt us for uh, fields, uh, auto-populating fields. We're going to say no. And then we're just going to drag over the title. Uh, we just want to show the titles over here on the, on the left-hand side. And I'm just going to take away the, the label. Lots of different properties I can set there. And then on the right-hand side, I'm going to create a data view. And this data view is going to listen to what I select in the list box on the left, which is really cool because now it can just take that information and I can show additional details from the data that I bring in from that OMDB call. One of the imported fields is a URL to a poster and we can use an image viewer widget that we added from the App Store to specify that URL. And now when we go out to the app and run it, we see that the posters show up. And when we click through, the posters change. And that's REST Consume. Stoke your low code fever and subscribe to receive more model driven love from Mendix.